I'm Lisa. Uh, I'm from Squint Limited and um, I'm going to just talk through a few of our new products today which we'll be launching on my deco. I'm standing next to one of our chairs which is called Roxburgh and I just want to really show the internal construction of a bespoke piece of furniture and the difference between having something made in the UK as opposed to a kind of mass produced generic design which comes offshore. So looking at this, um, this is a hardwood frame Everything that we do is made in the UK and uh, this comes from a company which is third generation now in terms of furniture manufacturing. Some of the principles of traditional furniture have been tweaked slightly for durability here. So uh, obviously we have a sprung back and we have an internal sprung seat. We've replaced traditional uh, canvas webbing at the bottom of the springs for steel slats which go across which means that over time you should never have the problem of your seat base falling through, which obviously happens with antique pieces. We've also replaced traditional horsehair with horsehair substitute, A, because it's ecologically a nicer way to work, as opposed to uh, horses being farmed specifically for that. And also it's a dust-free, hypoallergenic alternative, which to somebody like me who's very allergic is quite a big deal. We will be offering a new range of fabrics which will be available on my deco and you will, through the 3D imaging system, be able to play around with the final choice of fabrics on your piece. And um, being able to do that means that you'll be able to be bolder in your choice of finish, both in colour and pattern. But you will have a 3D piece with a selection of different fabrics that you can pull onto different elements within the piece itself. So it could be that you choose to have a seat cushion in one fabric, an arm in a, in a different version, a plane inside back, highly patterned outside back, basically however you want to do it. You'll also have the opportunity obviously to just have it in a single fabric as such. So you will be able to online build your final design which will be unique to you. We are known for our rather extreme colour combinations and I think um, part of uh, having a confidence with colour at home is really just trusting your taste and not worrying about what anybody else thinks about it. I find that when we work with clients over a course of time we will often put in lots of different colour combinations, none of which in theory work with each other. but. Uh, as a whole, the whole room or the whole house full will work with everything else that's in there because the client is working with their own taste and trusting their decisions. Um, if you are feeling less confident about colour initially, it's good to start with small pieces like cushions or throws, table lamps, anything which just draws you to it, which um, is a particular colour that you particularly love, that you think might brighten or darken an area, however you want to play around with that. And once you get going with colour and you start to feel more confident about colour, you find that actually it just becomes a very innate thing that you start to put it across your whole environment and uh, it's just a lovely thing to kind of play around with. It can be very inexpensive, likewise very expensive if you're going for a fine piece of artwork. So I think just trust. Trust your taste.